and welcome back to the third part of this tutorial now what I want to do is I want to be able to click on any data that I have in here and I want to display it here okay so I'm going to first of all exit and let's come back in here right click on this and let's select events and I'm gonna need mouse click there we go there right here that's where I'm gonna enter my data but I need to copy something here let's come up here so right here where I have my my function I'm gonna grab this instead of retyping it all over now right click again go back there and uh, mouse click and just paste that in there and I'm gonna carry out one change here let's, let's say integer here int selected row integer selected rows equals j table table one that would be dot get dot get selected row selected row there we go there and just get rid of this okay so that is taken care of I believe yeah now what I want to then do is I'm now going to enter the selected rows that I'm talking of so the first one is going to be JTXT student student ID dot dot to be set text so which means whatever we have in here is automatically entered back onto the text box so let's enter all of this here and that is going to be dot get value get value dot get value at and where is it getting the value from that is going to be from role selected role one Is going to be comma one dot to string dot to string there that's the very first one so I'm just gonna copy this and change it around for the others there. and this one is going to be first name and that will be two surname address postcode and here we have telephone So this will be three, four, five, and six. There we go. Okay, let's try that out now. So I'm gonna run it. Let's just see what's gonna happen. I think we have an error here. Get short. What is that? Uh, let's see. Was it supposed to load up the the table? whatever I have in there and display it here so let's go to my updates the function I think should be up here somewhere I think we're there oh look at that that was meant to supposed to be get string so if you guys have done the same thing please change that that should have been get string as well okay there hopefully the error should be taken care of now so let me run it again compile and run let's see 
let's see. Run. There we go, look at that. So when I click on this, that should comes up. Right, so I can now carry out whatever update I want. Let's assume I want to update this now, the telephone number. And just click on update. And hopefully that should have been updated. Okay, so that's fine. So that is it. So let's exit out. And we take care of let's take care of uh, prints so I'm going to double click on that and those are the lines of code for print from here to down here there okay the lines of code for print we will try that out um, finally we need to take care of delete as well and here we have the lines of code for delete. Let's take it from the top here and bring it right down. Okay. Those are the lines of code for delete. And let's just correct this. That should be connector the database name and we just call this record updated instead of student record take that out record updated and that's all there is to that so those are the lines of code for delete as well And for the updates, I had to call this as well. I suppose I may have left that out while I was. So let me show you guys the update. Let's come in here, double click on update. There. That is the update. And I think that's all about that's all about this. Well, that's all for this tutorial. And let's run it and just see how that's gonna look like. Run and see. Put that, put this down here. So I'm gonna save, compile, and run. So let's add new data in there and let's say that is the password or username and uh, the name is Sally Saltind. And address of Saltind. Telephone number there. Yeah. Click on add. Yeah, see that? I saw the south in details. Let's say reset. Enter the next data in there. And the name is Danny. Address seventeen and London Town. And his phone number. I click on add. Click on add. There we go. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can delete. Let's delete Parker. Yes. Yeah, we deleted 
Parker. So the delete is working. So let's add Parker again. Also, I think it's Paul Parker. And Parker leaves number seven. Frog not close. Click on add. So the delete is working, update is working, print. Oh, let's try out print. Yes, print is working as well. But I don't have print on my system, so I'm just going to cancel that. And we just add one more details or two more. Oh, it's called us. Davis Johnny number four or let's say number forty good man road and telephone number there so guys that's how the system works so with that i'm going to call it the end of this very nice java tutorial and i believe you guys enjoyed please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel in fact you can join and pay as little as one pound 90p so thanks for watching and you all have a nice day now and thanks for your support Bye.